Do you find yourself reinventing the wheel every time you build a new application? Let's have a chat about the great decoupling and what that means for authorization. Yes, hello, Alex Livier here from Serverless, and today we're going to look at the great decoupling and what that actually means when you're designing and building a software application. So the great decoupling is really a, a big shift that's been happening over the last few years around software architecture. Before you'd have these big monolithic applications where you'd have a single code base, vast, vast code base that does everything under the sun as you build your service. But nowadays there's been a shift and more modern applications are actually built from Lego building blocks. These building blocks allow you to pick the best component and pick the best provider for each of the different things that your application does. So the most common one of these is authentication, not authorization. Check out this other video if you understand the difference. Authentication is one of those things where you don't really want to have to go and build the support of all the different providers out there. You, know, you may go and implement a username and password login at first, but then you'll start getting users wanting to log in with their Google account or use their a GitHub login to get into your application. And you can sit there and build these components and actually you find yourself building support for all these login providers whilst forgoing building actually the thing you were focusing on in the first place, you know, the, the core business logic of your, your application or service that your users actually want to use you for, yet you're stuck building an authentication uh, login system. And the great decoupling really is that. It's being able to go out there and pick off the shelf a service or a component or a microservice that you can plug in your stack and plug in and use without having to worry about building it. Now, decoupled authorization is the next frontier of this. So authorization is that bit of logic inside of your application that does the if else case switch style logic to work out, I've got this user, are they allowed to do this particular action on a particular resource inside of the system? So imagine like an expenses tracking system, you would have a person who can submit an expense, but they can't approve their own expense. So that kind of if logic that you would have in there, that conditional logic you would have in there to work out, can a user do an action? Now, if you're in a monolithic code base, fine, it may be manageable to actually implement all that centrally once, but now in the world where you have these different microservices and you might have you know, a few different services, you might have tens of services, you might have hundreds of services that build up your application stack. Some of those are running inside your system, some of those external services. It's all gonna get a bit hairy when you try and manage the changing in business logic. Now the beauty of using a decoupled authorization provider is that your business logic around who can do what, the rules of who's allowed to access and do things can be defined centrally. And then all the different services that are you're building up and building your application can actually call onto that central authorization server and say, hey, I've got this user trying to do this thing, is it allowed or not? And what that really comes down to is that if else case switch to our logic that was spread out across your different services, written in many different languages if your services are, and have to be updated every single time you want to make a change, gets pulled out of your application code and, and replicated inside of this central authorization service. And now your app code is much cleaner because you simply say in your code base, got this user trying to do this action, can they do it? You make a call out to this authorization provider and it simply comes back saying yes or no, allow or deny. So your, your code base now is actually extremely minimal and all your business logic is encapsulated away into your authorization service. So Serbos is one of these free open source components that does exactly that, where you define your business logic in policy, so a configuration, rather than having to encode it into all your application code, which may be in different languages and you're gonna have to change and, and update every single time your requirements changed. So that in a nutshell is decoupled authorization. Please check in our YouTube channel. We have many more of these explainer videos on there. And also come and join us in our Slack community. You can find out about Serbos and everything else at serbos.dev. Thanks.